Hello, my name is Maya Ibrahim Shah and I'm the founder of Bit Baraka. We're a Lebanon-based charity registered in the US and in Australia. We started as a grassroots organization and over time, we grew to become an institution that has the capacity and the capability to work on scale basis. We support 65 local charities in order to maximize our impact in an efficient way. Our work initially supports retirees by offering them free food through our point-based free supermarket. We also have a free pharmacy and a medical support unit that helps 30 dispensaries and 12 hospitals all over the Lebanese territory. But gradually, we started shifting into an emergency relief organization to be able to adapt to the ongoing crises. And after the Beirut port blast, we were able to repair 3,011 apartments, 686 small businesses, 7 schools, 12 building facades, and 21 heritage buildings, one of which was transformed into our social enterprise, Ken's, offering an exceptional farm-to-table experience, with 100% of the proceeds going directly to Beit al -Baraka. But during the post-blast reconstruction period, we realized that students have become the primary collateral damage of the Beirut port explosion. So we decided to launch FURSA as an education program in partnership with Murex, supporting 28,765 students in 189 schools. We also partnered with the American University of Beirut's education department, and together we launched six computer science labs in marginalized public schools in Beirut. But when the recent war started, we decided to take a step back and reflect on how we are going to help and what is our role going to be in this very critical situation. To date, 128,000 homes have been destroyed. An average of 40,000 have been completely demolished. Commercial and industrial losses are tragic. More than 50,000 businesses have shut down. Our GDP shrank from 56 billion to 14 billion and 80% of southern inhabitants usually work in the agro-industry, and currently 220 million square meters of agricultural land have been burned. So what do we do? First, we need a post-crisis response plan. The civil society is fully mobilized to support the displaced population, so Beit al Baraka today is taking part in producing 10,000 warm-cooked meals every single day delivered three times a day to 28 schools all over the Lebanese territory. We are also delivering mattresses, pillows, bed sheets, quilts, medicine, assistive devices, hygiene products, and this operation is costing us $13,000 a day. The families we are helping are beautiful people of small producers, farmers, artisans, housewives, children, elderly, and these innocent people have been the victims of this war. Unfortunately, Lebanon is heading towards the second biggest humanitarian crisis in its history after the 1915 Great Famine. And education, unfortunately, is once again the collateral damage. And we cannot accept that. There are 1,130 shelters today, 973 out of which are public schools that have been transformed into shelters, leaving 350,000 students unable to resume their education. We are completely alone in this, so Beit al Baraka can only rely on your donations to be able to sustain this huge operation. Thank you very much for your trust.